Hey there, speculators. It's Rod, your futures fanatic. Welcome back to the channel. Just want to remind everybody that the content I create here is for educational purposes. Make sure you read this risk disclosure and disclaimer. And that futures fanatic is part of TDG, where I provide education for active futures traders and self-directed investors. Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can get access to my most powerful indicator, but you are going to have to do a little bit of work. But first, I'm going to tell you what it is. Then I'm going to show you how you can get access to it by doing a little bit of work and also educating yourself on this great new thing that is AI. If you're not messing around a little bit with ChatGPT, that's what we're going to do today. But first, what I want to talk about is what is this indicator? Why should you potentially uh, look to reconstruct it on your trade view? And uh, also how to use it properly on days like today, which is a, a day in which the market had sold off. I'm sitting here on the S&P and we had a signal right here. It's The signal is indicated by when the background is, is shaded blue. Um, now, the first thing I also want to point out is if you're not already, you can go over and follow me on uh, on Trading View. And over here on Trading View, I've done a lot of other videos on this indicator. Every time you kind of see this on the screen, I've done uh, a video about this, but I've kept this over on my Trading View page. So this is the kind of the first time I'm going to bring it over here uh, to YouTube. So we call this extreme turn uh, signal, and it's designed to find turning points in the marketplace. Now I'm going to I'm going to show you exactly what it is. Okay, so this is a hybrid indicator. I'm going to leave these settings on the screen for a little bit. You can take a screenshot of them. I'll probably put them in the description down below. So the hybrid of this indicator is RSI, Relative Strength Index, and the ADX, which is a directional indicator. Okay, if you're not familiar with either of those, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult for you to recreate this, but let me just walk through essentially what the settings are. So the period is five. You don't have to worry too much about this uh, one being smooth, but in just a moment when I get to the ChatGPT section, we can talk a little bit about how you can put all these parameters in and let the wonders of the interwebs just do this for you. Um, the upper level is going to be 18, the lower level 16. Now this is the part I'm not exactly sure whether Chap GPT will be able to generate this code for you. By the way, if you want access to this actual indicator, I don't sell it, but it is part of only my trade room. You can check the link down below to find out how you can get access to my trade room for free for a couple weeks and then see if this whole thing is a good fit for you. And then you could actually get this indicator if you wanted. But I'm going to show you tonight how you can build it on your own. Uh, the period for the ADX is 3, upper is 79, and lower is 24, okay? Take a screenshot of this. I'll zoom into it uh, so you can take a look at that. Those are the settings you're going to want to use. That's important just in just a little bit. Okay, but what this is designed to do is actually find turning points in the market. So over here, these are sell signals, and then over here, these are buy signals. So if we wanted to cherry pick and look over here, we could see that it did kind of find a turning point before the market went higher, not a whole lot higher. But today, this is an example of so the signal is so strong that it's actually something that you want to filter out. And, uh, and what I was talking about in my trade room today was on this candle right here, we began to get the extreme turn. In other words, it was painting the bar here, indicating there was potential turning point. So if the market was going lower, what would you want to do? Well, you'd want to potentially buy. Some people buy right on that candle, some wait for other forms of confirmation. I'm not going to get into all the uh, details of how you use this indicator other than to just specifically say, it's designed to find turning points. However, when you see a bar like that and you get the, the, the signal, the, the next bar starts to print the signal is still there, okay? The next bar starts to print the signal is still there. After that second bar and definitely after the third, now we are not involved in this market anymore. We're either cutting our losses on a long that we took when the signal first uh, uh, exposed, uh, first appeared, or we're looking to... Um, Wait until what? We want to wait until the condition goes away. That ends up becoming very often the turning point here, which is what happened on this candle here. When this one opened, okay, and you can, you know, if you know how candlesticks work, it opened right here at let's say 40, uh, 40, 50, moved a teeny bit lower at one point, and then uh, marked basically the bottom for this cycle on today's trading day. And I had said in my trading room, in front of 250 people, I said, listen, this is looking like, and this was right on this candle, it's looking like a day we're going to get multi-bar signals, which means we're going to continue to get buy signals indicating a turning point that we do not want to take, and we want to wait until the signal goes away. That will be our signal to actually uh, go long. So hopefully that makes sense. It's like so good it's bad or so bad it's good however you want to look at it. So, But most of the time, what we're looking for is more of like a single bar. So let me give you an example. On the Dow Jones, we had one, two, three, then we found the bottom. But the NASDAQ today was a little bit different. It was just a two bar, and then it, then it found the bottom, okay? So you can use whatever rules you kind of want to use. 
I generally will look for that second candle. So these are 30 minute candles. The second candle opens up, the condition's still present. I'm not interested in being long anymore. I'm not gonna short, there's no short signals here. These are simply looking for turning points, okay? And the same thing would be true if we had a sell, sell signal on the upside. So let me see if I can find that. By the way, this is the anatomy of a perfect signal because it's a single bar sell signal that happened right here, and then down we go, okay? So here is a perfect example of the opposite being true, a short signal, okay? And by the way, there's other ways that you can learn to filter these out based on distance from our moving average and some other things, but we wanna keep it as simple as possible. I see red, that means there's a potential sell signal. I take that first sell signal to the next bar, I see red again. I'm no longer want to be a seller. I don't want to go long. I just don't want to be any short or adding to any position. And then as soon as the candle comes off, this would be where our sell signal is. As you can see, didn't really work. The market continued to move higher. Obviously, nothing works uh, all the time. We could go back and continue to look at these signals. This would be an example of a really, really good one over here. Uh, I tend to want to be long more than short. This is a two bar, and then the market reversed and found a bottom, okay? Now, one more time, I just want to go back to this. You can uh, go back in the video and, and pause it there, but let's go one more time. So we're talking about an RSI and an ADX, and now let's talk about how you could potentially ask ChatGPT to do this for you. So I've had a lot of fun with ChatGPT. I already have some uh, a prompt in here. I will put a different prompt in, but not the exact prompt. You're gonna have to do a little work here, right? So let me show you how I prompt it for something else that I was doing. I was asking it to basically create a very simple strategy, in other words, buy and sell signals, when price hit a particular standard deviation away from VWAP. So to be clear, this prompt is not the prompt you'll use, but it should give you some ideas for how you could prompt ChatGPT to write what you want. So I'm just gonna read this. It says, you will play the role of a software programmer with expertise in algorithmic trading. I will provide you with source code for VWAP value weighted average price indicator that includes standard deviations. You will produce PineScript. Now here's the part that you wanna use. You will play the role of a software programmer with expert in algor with expertise in algorithmic trading, and you will produce PineScript code, okay, in the form of a, an alert, right, an alert. Then, this is the part where you need to do a little work here. If you're interested in doing this, I'm not gonna completely give it away, plus this will be good learning for you if you haven't used ChatGPT, or if you weren't aware, the ChatGPT can write PineScript code for you that you can put right into uh, TradingView and use on your own. So what you're gonna to have to do is use a combination of this prompt and then those values that I showed you. So let me give you an example. ChatGPT, you will play the role of an expert programmer that's knowledgeable about algorithmic trading or indicator development or whatever else you wanna say. Um, I am looking for, or please create for me, PineScript that will do the following, that will create an alert when these following conditions are true, right? And then just plug in those following conditions. And then, boom, in one second, sometimes under one second, it will actually spit out code. This is the code it spit out for the prompt that I was doing before. And then I asked it to refine it. It refines it, okay? And then, now here's the key. Rod, I don't, I don't know how to code. I don't know how to code either. I don't even know how to put PineScript into TradingView. Okay, ask ChatGPT how to do it. Certainly, I said, please provide the instructions for how to provide the strategy on TradingView. So what you're gonna say is, please, for, please provide instructions for how to deploy the alert, uh, indicator alert, whatever you wanna call it, that you just wrote for me on TradingView, and it will tell you exactly how to deploy that. How cool is that? Now, if you have no idea what ChatGPT is, this might not be the best video for you, but essentially what you wanna do is just type in ChatGPT or OpenAI, but just type in chat, G, chat, GPT, like that, and then use the one at the very top here, and then I'm already logged in, and I have a paid version. I'm using uh, GPT-4. None of that really matters, but um, again, you can do all this, and you can then have this fantastic indicator right here. Let's keep going back till we get to where we were today. Let's look again at the MES. Let's move this out of the way. That not only finds turning points, but also can keep you out of strong trending markets, okay? 
One more time, keep you out of strong trending markets, keep you out of getting short in a market that's gonna rip your face up to the upside, keep you out of being long or longer in a market that's gonna potentially continue to trend lower. We all know that we're trying to pick bottoms. We pick bottoms, we get sticky fingers. Let's use these indicators, this hybrid of RSI and ADX to do so. Hopefully this was pretty helpful. A couple other, bunch of other things going on. If you wanna check the description below, I'll probably leave some links to some of the sales that are going on from the various uh, futures uh, prop trading programs. Uh, I might do some content on uh, a recent uh, <clears throat> a recent situation with a FX CFD prop firm and how I believe that really shouldn't in the short term affect what's going on with the online futures trading programs. Remember, friends do not let friends trade Forex, CFDs, or on MT4, MT5. So friends don't let friends do that, especially MT4. MT5 is not that bad. You can trade futures on MT5. All right, so we'll leave it there. Quick review of what we did tonight. We talked about the extreme turn, the, the ability to find turning points in the markets, either buys or sells. And when the extreme turn is really extreme, how you can filter and stay out of it and then get a much more, uh, a better signal to use. And then um, if you're really motivated, how you can come over and create this thing for yourself using ChatGPT. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, actually leave them in the comments. Or if you have actually used ChatGPT to write indicators or scripts for you or in your trading, I'd love to hear how you're doing that. Please share that with the community. This is super exciting times for, for automating um, and, uh, and um, adding this type of stuff to your trading. Again, I'm Rod, the Futures Fanatic, reminding you to stay green, trade like you mean it. Lastly, if you find this information helpful, uh, your likes, comments, turning on the bell notification really motivates me to create more content. As you see, I say all the time, I tend to not, I do, I have a lot of different businesses. I'm mostly not in the trading business as much anymore. Um, but I really like giving back and, uh, it really helps if you, uh, if you can do all those great things because it helps the algorithm here on YouTube and it helps me grow this channel. That'll be it. Stay green, trade like a minute. Thanks.